Mr. No Filter 718 and Harley. Hey, hi, I'm Tori Sugar. Also, this is Harley. We're going to be in the hall. We're going to be in the hall. We're going to be in the hall. We're going to be in the Yes, yes, yes. So, let's do, let's do a, a, a brief recap on New York Fashion Week. Oh, yes. Fashion Week was great for me. I had a good old time. I met a lot of good people. I saw some great designers. One of my favorite designers is somebody named Adriana. I absolutely love it. Um, the, uh, the the designs was very intricate. Um, that last show we went to was kind of uh, off the chains here. They they had uh, um, dancers suspended from the ceiling and swinging on strings. Oh and, yeah, and it was Kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was really dope. I that was that. very, very dope. And we actually ran into um, DJ Westar, one of the after parties. After everybody ran into him, Carly Red at the last show. She was looking nice. She's been popping out too lately, so shout out to Carly and DJ Westar. Yeah, the after party was, um, it was lit. It was at the, the Playboy Lounge in um, yeah. Playboy Lounge in the city. The Playboy Lounge has a lot of people women there, I must say. That's all over the place. It lives up to the name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, other than that, how was your weekend? Your week in total? Week was, well, week was good. You know, glad to be alive. You know, um, this year, um, you know, reminiscing on uh, 9-11 that just passed. Right. My condolences and prayers to everyone that has uh, lost a, a family member, a friend, a hero. You know, that was a very tragic day. And as people still dying to this day, um, 9-11 related And I was on social media and I realized that there's a lot of our young youth uh, pretty ignorant to what 9-11 stands for, what it was about.
I used to be a, a messenger and travel to the world trade like all the time. Oh really? And I had quit. Um, probably like six months prior to that uh, um, happening. Oh wow, so you could that, have been there. Yeah, that, that could have been the situation. Yes. Wow. What were you on that day? I was in elementary school at 9-11 and all I know is that all the children were getting called home. The parents come to the office and everybody was getting called home. Nobody knew what was happening. And um, I just remember like, I still didn't know what was going on when I got home. We just watched the news. Like, my mom didn't even like, explain it to me. So, um, yeah, I was at school. And I was in elementary school. And I just remember like, um, this is like something that I remember. Was that I'm watching the news and the, I guess the mic went out and I kind of like giggled about the mic going on. And my mom like made a big deal about it. Like, you know, it's not funny. Like, and I'm just like, that's when I realized it was something really serious. All right. It's just, you know, that makes you um, more self-aware of your surroundings because, you know, there are some pretty evil people out here in the world that's just going to do damage and it's mass destruction out there. So, right. you know, just always keep your eye open to that if you see something, to say something, you know, and especially if it's pertaining to uh, other person's life. Right. Yeah. 
you know, what they what they did, what they're doing is an excellent business strategy. But I'm saying that we uh, ourselves as a community need to um, start having more and more of our own businesses. Yeah, and I'll agree because the thing is, they're not selling Chinese food in um, China. You know, they're not like the kind of Chinese food that just some love. Or there's no jellies where where the food is from. And there's no beauty supply store. The beauty supply store department for um, our people. I have yet to see a Chinese um uh, actually owner eat from your own establishment. Yeah, I don't ever see that before. And that's I find, I find that kind of strange, but you know, to each his own. Uh, I agree. What, what's up with um Oh, what well, I was mentioning before, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A just opened up um, at downtown Brooklyn by the, the Barclays Center, and the line is wrapped around the block. I can't be fine. Um, well, I didn't know that. You just told me that today, so this is my first time hearing like, about that. But I just know. For those of you who don't know, Will has never eaten from. So he doesn't know how good the chicken actually is. I had every other chicken except for that. And he's gonna find, hopefully, probably one of these days he'll find out how good it is. It's really good chicken, I'm not gonna lie. Now, see, I'm a, I'm a food connoisseur, and I just want to know, um, like it just says a brief description of the flavor. It's really good, I can't explain it. it, it's just really, it's just really good season chicken. Like, I haven't ate there too many times, but I've ate there enough, like a few times to know, like, it, it's really tasty chicken, like, it, it's better than Popeyes, that's what I'm saying. Better than Popeyes, but way better. That's what I'm saying. Hold on a second. Better than Popeyes. Which you've seen a lot with that statement. Exactly, exactly. I know. <laughs> I feel like a religious Popeye eater. Right, exactly. Once you taste chicken, then you might have a little different, um, alcohol, fast food chicken. <laughs> <laughs> So, alright, alright, let, let's, let's do a little, little thing here. Name um, the top five. Top five chicken spots. Top five? There's not even five. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, but you know, five. I had Texas chicken last night. That was pretty good. I, I mean, I guess it's kind of almost like a crown part chicken in a way, but it's kind of the, the Texas joint or whatever. Fashion week, Bob. This is an African 
party vibes. So we just working on the next project. What about you, Layla? Nothing much. Kind of low key or anything. Right, I agree. Yeah, nothing too big. What did you guys want to talk about today? What was, what was the... Yeah, we won't get on. We won't get on what we guys talked about. We were talking about what we started talking about. Um, well, we, we left off with, um, what's, what's the top five chicken spots? Uh, <laughs> yes, let's do it. 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 Let's do it.
So I believe she's gonna. Jay Z did do that too. He retired and he came back. Yeah. Right, right. Back. So I feel like she's waiting for um, she's waiting for Cardi to make a to make a mess or to to make a mistake, and then she's gonna come back again. I don't know this means like that kind of thing. That's what I think that that's the plan. Like, they could be that. So she's taking a break because now there's a lot of new um, There's a lot of new female rap artists. Just her. But now it's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, she probably can't. She said she gonna retire with a ring. She said that. Yeah. Too. I think she's just gonna take a break, watch everything from the outside, yeah. and then come back and be like, yeah, boom. You know, reinvent herself. That's what I believe that she's doing. Because she never took a break anyway. She yeah, she was going hard. Like, I think like, it's like, perfect time for her. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's perfect time because everybody coming in from left field, she don't, she don't know what's happening. She got to watch. She got to sit back and watch. Yeah. That's what I think. I would love to see a pregnant nigga. I would love to see a pregnant nigga, but I'm not talking about the man. Things together 